Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. My instant Legolas magazine repeating bows have been quite popular and the most popular one was probably the Mongolian bow. But of course since then I really advanced my technology with the sliding magazine instead of the fixed one. And um, <laughs> well I decided to go back to the Mongolian bow and ask myself is it possible to make one that has two shots? Well I think so. I started uh, by just buying another one and then mounting them side by side and then I had a lot of saw work to do because I needed to make two identical instant Legolas magazines and attach them. And uh, then came the great moment where I shot it for the first time. And it worked! So this is the double instant Genghis Khan. <laughs> Let me show you its features. And... Badoof! And the other one, <laughs> of course I can shoot both arrows at the same time. <laughs> Five shots, and again, one, two, or both at the same time. <laughs> Now of course you have two of the Instant Legolas magazines and um, you can load them just like you can load like a lever action or a pump gun. Just slide them in like so until you have five pieces in every side. <laughs> okay, turn this around and repeat the same on the other magazine. Okay, fully loaded. As you can see the spring-loaded lever here. And what you can also see that I attached the handle a little bit different. So the handle is now a little bit set back, um, which also accommodates the little longer draw that uh, comes from the extra handle that I put in. And the entire centering is done by this one inch by one inch piece. As you can see it glides through this easily. So this is holding on to the magazines. What I also did is, what I also did is I had to solve the uh, trigger challenge. And as you see, these are the triggers to the left and to the right. And they're operated by these little handles here. So this one releases the right barrel and this one releases the other barrel. And you can of course press them together. So left, right, or both together. Also what I did is I have this lever here in the front so you can see that here show it to you and as you can see this is also spring-loaded so it can move a little bit and this is so that you can hold on to the bow in cocked condition with both hands. Let me show that to you. So when I draw out the bow you can see that this here I can use it to hold on and then I can easy, easily even remove this hand but both together of course it's a big relief since this bow now has like 50 pounds of energy. So that's quite a lot. <laughs> and of course I can also release it at any time if I don't want to shoot. But this thing that this is spring loaded means that I cannot jam my fingers. Because if I pull it back without stretching my index finger, then otherwise if that would not be spring loaded, it would be an ouch moment. <laughs> okay, let's do a few more shots. So again, very simple. Pull out. And now I just do the left barrel and the right barrel. Or I do both two together. Together is more fun, I think. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> and it's very accurate, wouldn't you say so? I mean, I have no aiming device on this, of course. I could attach a laser or anything, but that's not really necessary. Ding ding! <laughs> okay, got one more round left. Okay, and ding! <laughs> Thank you.
it's not so bad for no aiming device. 10 shots. So is this practicable? Well, <laughs> it's fun, of course. These are weak bows. And therefore, I mean, you get two shots, but those are two weak shots. I think the best instant log in Legolas that I've done so far is for the 70 pound assassin exterminator bow made by EK Archery because it has serious, serious power and you can still easily draw it and it's a quick repeater. While this one is more like a curiosity, but also shows that um, this entire sliding magazine invention leaves a lot of room for uh, unusual archery stuff. <laughs> but it, it definitely is fun. So what, is it really true that one German replaces two Mongolians? Of course not. The original Mongolian bows have been very, very heavy. We're going up as high as like, I know, 160 pounds or so. There is no way that I could do that with two of them, like 320 pounds. But there are archers today that can easily pull like 160 pound bows. Imagine that, that would mean that they could easily just add two 70 pound compounds and draw it with this thing like this. Now that would be awesome. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna make this nicer, stain it a little bit and so on, but it's a rainy day, so I just wanted to do a short video to show you this new crazy invention of mine. I hope you like this because that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks and bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, one more just for you. And because it's so much fun. Ding ding. <laughs> okay, here is a special announcement for my German fan base. It is about the coming changes to the gun laws in Germany, which is ridiculous because they're exceeding what the EU has determined by far and really stupid rules. So there is a petition and I think that everybody should join, but of course it's only open to German citizens. Therefore I'm changing into German, if you don't mind. Ja, Freunde, es geht um die Petition gegen die Verschärfung des Waffengesetzes. Ein ernstes Thema. Es sollte jeder mitmachen, der sich für Waffen interessiert. Einfach deswegen, weil wir uns nicht gängeln lassen sollten. Und die Petition ist kurz vorm Quorum. Das heißt, es ist kurz davor, 50.000 Stimmen zu erreichen. Und dann muss man äh, die Initiatoren Anhören. Das heißt, man muss ihnen Gelegenheit geben, in Persona Stellung zu nehmen und die Politiker müssen auch was dazu sagen. Ich hoffe, es nützt was. Aber auf jeden Fall, wenn wir die 50.000 nicht erreichen, dann wird das nicht geschehen. Und bitte, bitte beteiligt euch doch. Und ich weiß, es ist blöd, dass man sich registrieren muss. Aber wir müssen jetzt einfach alle mal zusammenhalten, damit es nicht immer schlimmer wird in Deutschland. Also, Link unten. Bitte macht's. Danke und tschüss.